Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how I did a Doppler effect in Unreal and Wise, how I made up a, like a system, right? To simulate that, that effect for a particular sound that I have in this game, and it's the cannibal going from one place to the other. I made this map, a modification of one of the maps I had, just to, to, st to test it out, right? And I'm going to show you first how it sounds without the effect. Right? I'm going to go to my projectile for a moment and I'm going to put the attenuation scaling factor at 1. I'm going to play it again. There you go. So we have our, our cannonball going from one place to the other to the other. Cool. So I'm gonna what what I did is that I'm going to control an RTPC, right? And with that RTPC, I'm gonna control different things in Wise. So uh, first, uh, one I I searched a lot uh, different parts. And I found out these, these three links uh, that actually helped me uh, to come up with this system. And I actually did a bunch of tries, you know, all this stuff around here. Um, following exactly some indications from here, for example, uh, I have this one that is actually a system to do that in Unity. And it helped me of course, to, to, you know, get an idea of how I could do it. I even tried to translate it, you know, do it exactly in Unreal, but uh, it actually didn't work as expected. I was given some uh, values that didn't work too much, right? It, it was a close, it was close, but it didn't work exactly as I wanted. Also, if you search in the WISE uh, forums, and also I found this of someone actually trying to do something like this, right? And it helped me a lot to come up with what I did. I'm going to leave you the links. So let's see here what I have. It's let's get this part at the beginning. I'm getting the player, in this case, uh, my ball, right? The, the sphere I'm, I'm moving. I'm getting the velocity and the length, but actually it will be just a speed. This is the, I'm getting here the velocity of this, um, this actor or this projectile, right? Of each projectile. Here, what I'm doing is I'm getting the dot product between uh, the projectile and the player pound. And here I have actually a little explanation of what it does and which is also one of the links I am going to leave you leave in the comment in the description. So it will turn minus one if it's turned 90 degrees, it will turn sure if it's looking toward the player with a 55 degree angle, it will turn one if it's turned around 180, right? And what I, I'm using this actually just to, to know if the projectile is coming to me or getting, you know, away from me. This is going to help me achieve that. So if I connect this here, I'm going to leave his. Yeah, right. And I, I'm going to print this value just to check it out. And as you can see, uh, uh, we're watching several uh, cannibals. So I'm going to uncheck this cannon fire. I'm going to leave this at six could be right and let's see what happens now there you go right and i'm gonna delete this one so it doesn't you know uh put us numbers in the screen that won't help us so i changed the rate of this cannon right so it's not gonna play as constantly there you go and when it's 
getting away from me, it's minus. And it's uh, when it's going towards me, it's positive, then it's negative, okay? There you go. So we have this value here, pretty cool. Now, what I'm, uh, if I come back to this place, it's as I put it in here, it's, I'm, with this I'm getting the relative velocity of this projectile. Here, when I multiply by this dot product, it will basically give me a rate of, of this speed, this velocity. Delete this. Here I'm um, setting the RTPC, if I connect this in here. What I'm doing in here is just dividing this uh, value between the maximum speed. In this case, uh, my, my cannonball doesn't have acceleration, right? It moves constantly at this speed. So I can do this and this will give me a value between uh, minus one and one, right? That will help us use this RTPC here uh, to control uh, different parameters in our idle sound or in our, uh, yeah, in the sound of the cannibal uh, going from one place to the other. Actually, I call it idle, but well. Here, what I'm doing is I had also a specific flyby that I wanted to play uh, just when I'm in certain range. I mean, when the cannibal is at certain distance of my player and also only if I'm moving, right? Uh, so, as you can see, if it's between this range, if I'm close enough, and it's true, I will then check if I'm moving or not. If I'm moving, if I'm not moving, which is a value between three and four of this uh, same speed I'm, I'm getting before, right? I will post this event. If not, it won't happen. Now, so as you can see here, I have my RTPC linked to this uh, component, right? And I'm playing that as soon as, as the cannon, as the projectile uh, exists, right? So here it is. There you go. Uh, I'm not using this actually, so I can delete this. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now, but I'm not using that. Now, before I show you how it sounds, I'm gonna go to WISE and show you my my sound so here's the sound right you have different layers mid high and these ones i am doing some random low pass a little bit of random high pass and i have my pitch right uh, these ones have some parameters some low pass filters and stuff now here, as you can see, I have different things controlled by that RTPC. If I go to my RTPC, first, so I have my voice high pass filter controlled by that RTPC, right? If I'm getting away, if I'm coming, it will be this part. Uh, the same for the low pass. Voice pitch, as you can see, I have this LFO here, which it's also been affected by that uh, RTPC. This was just to give like a movement uh, feeling to, to the sound I have. And oh, again, and as I'm getting closer, you know, it will be, it will be uh, at zero. Here it will, sorry, at one. Here, as you can see, it will be almost three the frequency and here in this point it's 0 0.5 okay and with this why i did it just because uh you can get a better sense of the doppler effect you know with i will say with a sound similar to a siren right I, actually i'm gonna try this with a siren so you can see the doppler effect uh, real specific of course I will be affecting that siren with all this. 
the same as I will be doing with uh, with my normal cannonball sound. And last, I have my boy uh, my voice pitch also affected by that uh, by that uh, RTPC. So I'm going a little bit here, 300. Oops, 300. Right, and when I'm going away, it will go to minus 300. Those values work for the sound I had. You could, of course, uh, change them depending on, on the sound you use. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to deactivate this one, this one, and this one. I'm just going to leave the siren. Okay, there's our siren, right? I'm gonna test it out in here, directly wise. Right. Sorry, sorry about those clicks that are playing. It's not actually the siren sound, it's uh, something working not perfectly in my audio system today. But uh, not to worry at this moment. Uh, so, okay. We have our siren sound, right? I'm gonna save here. Gonna go to Unreal. I'm gonna, I have this already connected, so it works. I'm gonna generate sound banks. There you go. And let's try it. So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect this in here. I'm gonna play it again. That hello. Well, it's playing because I have this in here. Uh, I don't like it. I'm gonna bypass that. Just go directly here. And again, because I want to show you a couple stuff with the sound. Right, so if I'm moving and I and I get to the same speed as the cannibal or most almost the same speed, it won't it won't be a Doppler effect, right? Because I, if I'm moving at the same speed, the frequency shouldn't uh, change, right? So I'm gonna come here. It's working, so I'm gonna start. Rolling. Uh, I did a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna go again. Right. Again, that I wanted to show you that because, well, that's. That's something that should happen, right? If I'm if I'm going at the same speed as my siren, right? As my object with the siren, the, the frequency shouldn't change. Shouldn't change. So um, this system actually works pretty cool. Uh, it sounds like a Doppler effect. Of course, I could exaggerate that if I wanted to. I could uh, come here and change these values and with I can affect uh you know these uh sounds more you know or less so now with my actual sound I'm gonna save here I'm gonna go and okay this is connected now so I will have my flyby and then try again go we could actually tweak a little that flyby that's pretty loud and well actually that's happening because the real 
the volume of this it's nine but anyway i'm gonna lower that a little bit i'm gonna leave that at zero and if we try it again right pretty cool now mm, i'm gonna leave this on vid again play So that could actually work really cool uh, for cars, you know, and I don't know, any kind of things that you want to, to simulate the Doppler effect. So I hope uh, this works for you. If there's any doubt, uh, you can ask, ask me. Uh, here's the system if you, you know, want to recreate it. Uh, if you need a screenshot or something, of course, you can take it. If not, you can ask me and I will give it to you. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Bye.